for me, archaeology is a fascinating subject because it's really about what it means to be human. What are humans? What what is our history? How have we come? How have we got to where we are today um, as a as a species? Um, we can claim that we might be able to learn some lessons from the past which might help us in decision making in the future. It is really about trying to understand where we've come from and it's, it is the discipline that goes all the way back to the very first, you know, modern, first humans as a species and all the way through to the modern day. So we can investigate societies from all around the world and all sorts of different time periods and just see how much as a species we, we've varied and how much we really are all the same in the way and how we do things, the decisions we make and, and that sort of stuff. So I find that's, I think that's one of the really interesting things about it. And the other great thing about archaeology is you, it is a fantastic mix of academic work, you know, working in a laboratory, writing, reading, analysis of documents, those sorts of things, but also getting outside, doing field work, um, being out in different communities. And you get to go to places that people don't always go to and even if you go to places like Thailand many thousands of Australians and people from around the world go to Thailand as tourists but I think going as an archaeologist working in the community you get a very very different appreciation of the culture and the people doing that as well so archaeology is, is a great way to, to really get to know the world today as well as this whole history of humanity. One of the things that um, we try to let students know is that if you're going to go out and work in archaeology, um, you're going to end up in all sorts of projects, on all sorts of projects and research areas that you have actually very little knowledge about. All working ar archaeologists, you might turn up in a, and um, there might be a project on a historical site in Sydney about early colonial occupation. You might end up in um, Western Australia looking at indigenous sites with very small stone tools, or you might end up in um, New Guinea working on different sorts of sites over there. Uh, so being open, being understanding that there's a lot of different fields in archaeology, being able to ask questions and have a broad understanding of all the different sorts of things that you might come across, uh, and but at the same time being able to say, okay, I don't know about this, and I know that, I, but I know that I can go out and I can research and I can get the basic information that I need about this particular site or this part of the world to add to my general archaeological skills and knowledge to do a good job here. So it's, and so it's being aware of all the different sorts of things that might become, that you might need to use, um, even though you don't know them in depth. You, no archaeologist can. Archaeologists always have to be um, quite flexible and able to pick up new ideas as they go on. Students, um, when students, um, if they go out to work in consultancies, um, there are various levels of jobs, so um, you can be a sort of a field hand and most of those jobs are quite well paid uh, and um, I know one of, the, one of the things that happens uh, with my students is they get their platinum, um, gold, uh, platinum card on the uh, frequent flyer program very quickly because they're often involved in fly in, fly out, fly out sort of operations with mining and, and those sorts of things, so it's, it can be quite well paid. Um, quite early on in the career and you also get all these experiences of travelling to and from different places and being involved in different um, projects. If you stay in a company for a while um, then there's various tiers that, that you can work through so you become more of a manager or more of a report actually gathering the information together and turning it into reports and things like that. So. Uh, yeah, there are some quite well paid jobs. Australia is certainly one of the best places in the world to be an archaeologist in terms of, of, um, of uh, pay rates and conditions and those sorts of things.